Seems like a pretty quiet day out today. Of course, as soon as I say that, I'm going to get shot or I'm going to get mauled by a... Oh, yeah. By a mantis. Oh, what's up, YouTube? It's Fleshbox back in the house doing a little bit of Nether 101. We're about to head out into the Nether and uh, do a package delivery. Wait, where? What? Is it that way? Okay, so we hit M to bring up our map, and we've got some MTO packages, right? Let's check these out, okay? LSC to MTO, right? So these are MTO packages. And the museum trading outpost is that one right there. Right up there. It's the closest one. You can set a waypoint right like that. And I seem to have another way. Oh, there's... I don't know why I have a waypoint there. So you can set a waypoint uh, by right-clicking on the map. And then you can clear it by right-clicking. And, and come on. There we go. Put it back. And you'll see down in the lower right, you'll see the little blue line that I'm walking towards now. That'll point you towards that waypoint. So we're going to go ahead and head off here. Uh, sprinting is by default shift. And you'll notice down on the right, we have you have your little stamina meter that lets you know how much stamina you've got left. I recommend leaving some stamina. Um... Uh, Never running it dry, because if you run into something and you need to run, you do not want your stamina running out. So we've left the safe zone here. You are protected for about 12 seconds after you leave the safe zone, so people can't just murder you as soon as you come out. Although, you're not very far away before uh, they can murder you. But I do think that the protection also prevents you from attacking other players. Maybe? I'm not sure. Uh, if you're protected, you might not be able to attack the player. I haven't tried that. I'm not like a huge, hey, I'm going to attack people kind of a player. Um, as you can see, the game world is pretty, pretty nice, pretty big, pretty expansive. Um, there are, there is an entire, like, subterranean thing. There's, uh, these subways that actually travel all over the place. Is this an item I can pick up? Look at that. Nine mil ammo just laying there. Just laying there. That's super sweet. Oh, God. Get out. Um, we go down here. Now, you can run into nether down here. And you can follow these. They go away. I'll do an episode at some point that where we actually uh, explore the subway tunnels in a little more detail. Uh, but these places are pretty good for finding loot. Not this one, though, apparently. Um, it does get kind of eerie and creepy down here. But... In general, they're not too bad, as far as safety. Unless there's players down here, which I suppose players would probably congregate down here. Um, they're, they're generally fairly safe. More ammo. Boy, that respawned fast. Um, they did just uh, release an update. I wonder if that's responding too quickly. Potentially. But yeah, there are creepy, creepy noises in here. Anything in here? I'd like to find some food. Uh, you can see the food meter down there in the lower right. Also, a little water bottle looking thing. All right, yep, nothing else down here. Let's go ahead and head back up. I think this is the way we came. And if you starve yourself, you will start to take damage. And you can die from starvation. I've had it almost happen before. All right, so we're going to go ahead and head on, and you can look at the map. Now, I would recommend if you are going to stop and look at the map, get inside so you're not out in the open. Or at least, you know, like 
someplace relatively hidden, like tall grass, stuff like that, you uh, hit C to crouch, and then Z to lie prone like this. Now, when you're prone, you can't actually attack, right? All right. Oh, look at that. We just left and the safe zone is under attack. So when it's under attack, uh, PvP is enabled there and Nether are going to be roaming there. And that's, whoops, that's where you're going to have to go in and fix those, uh, fix those anti-Nether devices. That is a great way to earn XP, by the way. Um, so you can see we're, we're here on Dearborn Street. We basically came out here and we turned up. So we want to come up, come up here, cross the, the tracks into the museum. So we can just head up. Head straight up this street here. Let's see if we can see any nether. Nether tend to like to congregate around places that have good loot. Like these. So here's our first, like, lootable that we've run across. We come in here. There we go. Hit E to search it. It does take time. And more 9 mil ammo. There is a plethora of 9 mil ammo in this world. Alright. You can get inside and they can't see you, I think. Um, I don't know if they fixed it yet, but there is an issue where they can uh, hit you through walls. 5.56 five, ammo. That'll be handy if we actually get a decent gun. Um, and most of the buildings you can go into. And I do recommend going into buildings. Not only does it uh, hide you from the nether and other players a little bit, you can usually find goodies and stuff in there. Um, it's a good way to get through an area. It's through the buildings. Uh, nope, nothing in here. But you do want to you do want to learn the uh, paths. I run has a path that he likes um, that he learned from a, a streamer. I think it was someone on Twitch that he follows uh, taught him a path, or maybe it was someone he ran into out in the game world. So there are some good, highly effective paths for quickly getting between trading outposts. Okay, there's another ambulance. Let's go ahead and go hit that one before we... Uh... Before we get on here. I'm not sure where all the nether are. It seems like a pretty quiet day out today. Of course, as soon as I say that, I'm going to get shot or I'm going to get mauled by a... Oh, yeah. By a mantis. Okay, so he's gonna come at me. Oh, crap. Okay, so that is... I'm probably gonna die here. Yep, I'm gonna die. Okay, I killed him. Nope, didn't kill him. That's a hunter. See those little spikes he's got? Okay, so there we go. I died. That's kind of a bummer. So that brings us all the way back here, and you'll see we are reset to zero. We're reset to nothing. Okay. We got to start all over, so we're presented again with the uh, spawn and save zone out in the world. Let's go ahead and spawn in the save zone. Now, anti-nether devices have failed. So we've got to fix them. Now you can see that right over there is some smoke. The anti-nether devices, when they've failed, they emit that, that green smoke. So we want to get over there. So we can uh, fix that. Dang it. It's not going to be any easy way down from here, is there? Dang nabbit. Six to... Oh, there's one right there too. All right, so we want to be a little sneaky here, because all we've got is our butter knife. 
You can hear him off in the distance. I don't think he sees me. So we're going to go and repair this. Now, unfortunately, when you repair one, it doesn't repel the nether from that area. Kind of wish it did. Kind of wish it did. All right, so there we've got it. And you'll see we gained 100 XP for that. So we want to go ahead and head over in the direction of that other one. We want to repair those. There we go. Level 2 increased. You do gain XP as you survive. Let's go ahead and get in here. Let's actually go ahead and spend that, uh, spend that point. You just come over here to your character uh, sheet. And then you can click on the little plus sign to put points in there. Now, I... Actually, you know what? I'm going to save up these points. Because... I'd like to see how far we get before we actually start spending points. I don't think we can get through here. Nope, can't get through there. So I guess this will be a nice, uh, where are all the nether devices? Um, now unless they fixed it, the nether do get a little bit buggy around stairs and ramps. If you're like partially up a ramp, sometimes the nether can't chase you. It's, it's weird, I'm not sure what causes it, and I'm sure it'll get fixed. Alright, let's go and repair this one. Just ignore the sounds. All right, there's two of six. Let's go ahead and take a look. Let's take a look and see where more smoke is. Okay, there's one over there. And then there's also one down there in the center. There's a watcher. And there's a crawler. Uh, I think that watcher might have seen me. Yep, he saw me. Alright. They spit this uh, toxic goo stuff at you. But generally... Whoa. He's, he's... Okay, he's glitched into there. He's got a melee capability. All right. He didn't drop anything. I think he glitched through the thing. I think his drops glitched through. That's a bummer. Because... Watchers are not the most common thing in the world. He might have been over there. Uh, those guys can see you from a long ways away. All right, so when you're all by your lonesome here, your best bet is to just go slow and try to avoid the nether. Now that watcher is going to see me. Right, let's come back up to the roof. It's a little bit easier to fight up here. They do like to... Oh, dang it! It's a little laggy. I'm gonna die. So I'm gonna die again. Yep, there we go. They like to teleport behind you, so... It takes a little getting used to fighting these guys. We're gonna go ahead and hop back in again, though. You see, we got to secure this safe zone. This is going to be a terrible episode on how to do stuff. This would be a lot easier if I had a little bit of money and a global inventory to pull stuff from. Not that you can access global inventory. 
All right, guy. Come on. Come on. didn't drop anything either. Hmm, this update seems glitchy. This update seems... Where'd he go? That happens sometimes too. Okay. All right, now, if you look down in the lower right, you'll see that I am regening health slowly. Um, I think as long as you are fed up to three quarters of your... of your uh, food bar thingy, you regen health. It might be... it might be 80. 80%, 80 75 or 80%. All right, so... There's that watcher. Let's see if we can get away from him. They can see guys a long, long ways away. I'm not looking this way. There is uh, another anti-nether device over here. And there's a mantis over there. Well, we've seen uh, quite a few different nether in this episode so far. That's good kind of what I was hoping to do, is, is show off some of the nether. Um, I would like to not see a golem. And seeing a reaper, well, it would be worth seeing it, but I would just die. I would just die, because those guys... Those guys are kind of mean. Alright, let's go ahead and head up here. This is the first anti-nether device we showed in last episode. Come on, come on. Let's go ahead and go fix this one. Alright, you can hear him down there. Count level increased. I was already level 12. What are you talking about, fool? Uh, let's see if we can... As you gain... There we go. Look, player increased level 2. So I've got a point to spend now. These guys are just down there in force, aren't they? Let's see if we can see these guys. I don't see him. Okay. Sometimes you do get glitchy and stuck on stuff. It happens. Um, from what I've found, there's never any lootables inside the safe zones. Um, kind of makes sense, I guess. Okay, so there's three. Oh my god. Okay, no, that's just the mantis. I thought there were multiple guys over there. I'm not sure I'm going to make it through here. But, uh, that's not important because this is the end of the episode. I'm not sure how this works as a uh, how to. I don't think I'm actually good enough to do how to's. <laughs> Come on. He's gonna see me. I can't believe I can't get through there. Get through there. This guy's gonna see me. Okay. Alright. Let's see if we can find a way through. No, this is completely closed off. Well, that was helpful. All right, thanks guys for watching. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe and share with your friends. We'll be back next time for more Nether. 
hopefully a little bit more informative that time. I will catch you all there. Peace out. Oh, look at the lovers making love. I have no idea what I'm doing right now. That, that's yeah. where I fell to my death. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. So is that like a memorial now? Um, I don't. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but Wait, uh, the little, little thing there says, "Here lies flesh box." <laughs> <laughs> I was mad. That was.